The Tuai Tonga Empire, or Tongan Empire, are descriptions sometimes given to Tongan expansionism and projected hegemony in Oceania which began around 950 CE, reaching its peak during the period 1200–1500. It was centered in Tonga on the island of Tongatapu, with its capital at Mu A. Modern researchers and cultural experts attest to widespread Tongan influence, evidence of transoceanic trade and exchange of material and non-material cultural artifacts. History Beginning of Tongan expansionism In 950 AD, Tui Tonga started to expand his rule outside of Tonga. According to leading Tongan scholars, including Okusadino Mahina, the Tongan and Samoan oral traditions indicate that the first Tui Tonga was the son of their god Tangaloa. As the ancestral homeland of the Tui Tonga dynasty and the abode of deities such as Tagaloa Itamatapua, Tonga Fusifanua, and Tavatavimanaka, the Manwa Islands of Samoa were considered sacred by the early Tongan kings. By the time it comes to the 10th Tui Tonga Momo, and his successor, Tuatadai, the empire had already stretched from Tikopia in the west to Niue in the east. Their realm contained Wallace and Futuna, Tokelau, Tuvalu, Rituma, Nauru, parts of Fiji, Marquesas, parts of the Solomon Islands, Kiribati, Niue, Cook Islands, and parts of Samoa. To better govern the large territory, the Tui Tongas had their throne moved by the lagoon at Lapaha, Tongatapu. The influence of the Tui Tonga was renowned throughout the Pacific, and many of the neighboring islands participated in the widespread trade of resources and new ideas. Topic. Expansion 1200 -1500. Under the 10th Tuai Tonga, Momo and his son Tua Tatei 11th Tuai Tonga the empire was at its height of expansion, tributes for the Tui Tonga were said to be exacted from all tributary chiefdoms of the empire. This tribute was known as the Anasi and was conducted annually at Mwa following the harvest season when all countries that were subject to the Tui Tonga must bring a gift for the gods, who was recognized as the Tui Tonga. Captain Cook witnessed an Anasi ceremony in 1777, in which he noticed a lot of foreigners in Tonga, especially the darker people that resembles African descent from Fiji, Solomon Islands and Vanuatu. The finest mats of Samoa i.e. Toga are incorrectly translated as Tongan mats. The correct meaning is, treasured cloth, i.e. Cloth, toga Female goods, in opposition to, aloa, equals male goods. Many fine mats came into the possession of the Tongan royal families through chiefly marriages with Samoan noblewomen, such as Tahia the mother of Tui Kanokupolu Nada who came from Safada, Upolu, Samoa. These mats, including the Mania Fanga and Tejaif, are considered the crown jewels of the current Tupo line which is derived matrilineally from Samoa. The success of the empire was largely based upon the imperial navy. The most common vessels were long-distance double canoes fitted with triangular sails. The largest canoes of the Tongan Kalia type could carry up to 100 men. The most notable of these were the Tongafuesia, Akiheuho, the Lomipo, and the Taka Ipamana. It should be mentioned that the Taka Ipamana was actually a Samoan Kalia. According to Queen Salote and the palace records, this was the Samoan double canoe that brought Tahia Limapo from Samoa to wed the Tui Haatakalawa. The large navy allowed for Tonga to become wealthy with large amounts of trade and tribute flowing into the royal treasury. Topic. Decline of Tuai Tonga and two new dynasties The Tuai Tonga decline began due to numerous wars and internal pressure. In the 13th or 14th century Samoa defeated Tuai Tonga Talakaifeki under the lead of the Malietoa family. In response the Falefa was created as political advisors to the empire. The Falefa officials were initially successful in maintaining some hegemony over other subjected islands but increased dissatisfaction led to the assassination of several rulers in succession. The most notable were, Havia I 19th TT, Havia II 22nd TT, and Takalawa 23rd TT, who were all known for their tyrannical rule. In AD 1535, Takalawa was assassinated by two foreigners while swimming in the lagoon of Moa. 
His successor, Kau Ulafanua I pursued the killers all the way to Uvea, where he killed them. Because of so many assassination attempts on the Tui Tonga, Kau Ulafanua established a new dynasty called Tui Haatakalaua in honor of his father and he gave his brother Moangamotua, the title of Tui Haatakalaua. This new dynasty was to deal with the everyday decisions of the empire, while the position of Tui Tonga was to be the nation's spiritual leader, though he still controlled the final say in the life or death of his people. The Tui Tonga Empire at this period becomes Samoan in orientation as the Tui Tonga kings themselves became ethnic Samoans who married Samoan women and resided in Samoa. Kaulufanua's mother was a Samoan from Manwa. Tui Tonga Kaulufanua II and Tui Tonga Puapuafatu had Samoan mothers, and as they married Samoan women, the succeeding Tui Tongas, Vakafuhu, Tapuozi, and Aluakimata, were allegedly more Samoan than Tongan. In 1610, the sixth Tui Haatakalaua, Moangatonga, created the position of Tui Kanokupolu for his half Samoan son, Nada, which divided regional rule between them, though as time went on, the Tui Kanokupolu's power became more and more dominant over Tonga. The Tui Kanokupolu dynasty oversaw the importation and institution of many Samoan policies and titles, and according to Tongan scholars, this Samoanized form of government and custom continues today in the modern Kingdom of Tonga. Things continued this way for a long time afterward. The first Europeans arrived in 1616, when the Dutch explorers Willem Schouten and Jacob Le Maire spotted Tongans in a canoe off the coast of Niuatopatapu, and the famous Abel Tasman followed soon after. These visits were brief, however, and did not change the island much at all. The dividing line between the two moieties was the old coastal road named Halafanua Moa dry land road. Still today the chiefs who derive their authority from the Tu'ai Tonga are named the Kau Hala Uta inland road people, while those from the Tu'ai Kanokupolu are known as the Kau Hala Lalo low road people. Concerning the Tu'ai Ha'atakalawa supporters, when this division arose, in the 15th century, they were of course the Kauhalalalo. But when the Tu'ai Kanokupolu had overtaken them they shifted their allegiance to the Kauhala Uta. <laughs> <laughs> Modern scholarship Modern archaeology, anthropology and linguistic studies confirm widespread Tongan cultural influence ranging widely through East Uvea, Rituma, Futuna, Samoa and Niue, parts of Micronesia, Kiribati, Pohnpei, Vanuatu and New Caledonia and the Loyalty Islands, and while some academics prefer the term, maritime chiefdom, others argue that, while very different from examples elsewhere, empire is probably the most convenient term. See also History of Tonga Early history of Tonga Thalassocracy References External links Government site on the history of Tonga <references>